uh, senior leaders of our government, uh, Mr. Antonio Manuel Damota, Chairman of Mountain Geo Group and the Senior Management of Mountain Geo, the stakeholders and investors of the new Bujesara Airport, International Airport, members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to join you today uh, to break ground for this important national project. <laughs> like most of you, we have waited a long time to see this vision uh, become a reality. So I congratulate everyone involved for this first step and look forward to working with you to see it to completion. <laughs> Let me tell you the story that is known to many of us here in Rwanda. In this place of Bujesera, there's one story I want to relate to this uh, uh, project, uh, but also contrast it in a way. No long ago, <coughs> the previous, uh, there, is, there is a story here, the previous, uh, uh, long ago, the demonstration then, uh, promised some people here in Ujesera iron sheets. And uh, decades passed, uh, and the government left without delivering iron sheets to those people. So there has always been a saying, for anything that it delays for too long and not delivered, they always say it is like the iron sheets <laughs> that were pro promised by that administration to the people and who never got them. So now this airport is not going to be like the iron sheets. <laughs> so, I think this is a, a very a clear start of delivery on the airport, uh, which will distingu distinguish uh, our promise uh, from that of uh, the administrations long ago. Second, as uh, the chairman rightly said, you may not be big or too big, but uh, you don't accept not being the best. <laughs> I think that is something we may share. Rwanda and Motanje uh, will share this, that we may not be too big, we may not be big, but we we'll always uh, strive uh, to be our best. And I think uh, as we come together on this project, uh, we will, uh, I think, deliver a very good project. So I thank you, Chairman, for Right. So I would like to also thank the stakeholders and the financiers of the Ujesera Airport uh, for putting their confidence 
uh, in this project. I wish to assure you of our com government's commitment and support and partnership. We are as determined as you are to see this airport completed and operational. You can count on the government to ensure that all uh, the services and utilities required for the smooth running of the airport are ready in good time. The Kigali International Airport continues to improve uh, in terms of infrastructure, service, and efficiency. However, this new airport will be better uh, suited to our national vision. The Bujasera International Airport is an important part of Rwanda's strategy for social economic transformation. It is key to our ambitions to grow tourism and trade and develop our aviation, finance, and IT sectors. We also see this facility as an essential component in strengthening economic integration of our region and boosting intra-Africa uh, trade, investment, and business. It is also a logical complement to our national career. Uh, Rwanda, as well as our efforts to facilitate visas for Africans and other uh, stakeholders and other visitors as well. Rwandans to whom we are ultimately accountable are now used uh, to having high expectations and they trust us to deliver on this uh, promise. So this is not going to be any different. <laughs> this means uh, ensuring that uh, the Bujasara uh, airport is constructed uh, to the highest standards, completed in a good time, and offering quality services and offering uh, that compete favorably with the rest of the world. Once again, uh, thank you, uh, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, thank you to all partners uh, and those who offer support in different ways. And look forward to celebrating the inauguration of the new airport in the not too uh, distant uh, future. So I wish you all the best in your different endeavors. Thank you.